guys. So today I'm going to do a story time part two. Part two. Even though I was already starting me part one and part two. No. I actually stopped recording in both of them while I was on the second on the first one. I was I don't know I was I guess I was telling a story in the first one. Uh, but in the second one, I was yelling to all strict parents to maybe be a little less strict. I won't get into that right right now because that's a whole can of worms that was open. I was ar I ar that was already opened. So um, yeah, today I'm gonna tell a story. A story of how I met some of my friends. So the first friend I have ever had in Kansas City is Jackson. I don't remember how I met him though. But we're not talking about Jackson today because he is a burden to society. He forgot that I exist for the last fucking time. Anyways. I'm gonna talk about Jada, the, the, the friend that actually helped me get get through my first year being here. Well, the last two months of school because I came in late. Anyways, Jada, so I was eating pizza one day from Macy's and I didn't enjoy it that much because I, I usually only eat Papa John pizza, but I was still eating it anyway because I didn't have anything else to eat. Then somebody rings the doorbell. Curious how that was because all of my friends used to live far away from me. Well, not probably not all of them, but the but I used to, but I used to live in Dubai, which I lived in an apartment in all of the houses I ever lived in Dubai. Then when I moved to America, I first lived in a hotel and knew nobody there. Then I moved to Patterson, where I got in schooling again, and everybody lived away from me, and most of them were fake, and most of my friends there were fake, anyways. Calling, everyone lived away from me again, so I had to drive everywhere. So I'm not, so I was not used to people just ringing on my doorbell asking to play. Now everything. So this girl Jada and now not Jada and Natalie ring on the door. Natalie, I couldn't quite remember their names at first, but eventually I got the hang of it. We were all. I was in like the psycho phase where I'd pretend I'd be a psycho and it was a little bit cringe, but whatever. And she asked, is is the girl here? These these girls were both in my class and the teacher, Mr. Williams, said we were getting a new student. And they wanted to know who it was. So they took me over to Natalie's house, which wasn't that far. Dana's house was right across from mine, but we went to Natalie's house for some reason. So, we went to Natalie's house, and I noticed they had a pool, but I noticed the pool for sale, so I didn't really question anything about that. Then, later on, during playtime, they announced that Natalie's moving, so I didn't even get to hang out with her that much. Or whatever, the point is, we played in the sand and did a sandcastle competition, which I think Natalie won whatever then we were all a little bit bored afterward so eventually we all decided to do theirs and I started making literal destiny threats I was saying stuff like I'll kill you if you don't kiss Jada on the lips. And I'm like, I'll kill you if you don't kiss the fence. And all these ridiculous threats that I do not understand. Jada, I feel like Natalie was not scared. Apparently, Natalie was not scared at all. And I was saying, I'm out to kill you now. Jada was a little bit scared. I wasn't that threatening. Then they offered to walk me home because we had to go. Both were acting scared. And I was like... And then I kind of regretted it because I wanted, I actually wanted friends because I knew no one else there in Kansas City. Jackson, he lived far away from me, so it doesn't really matter at that point. So we all just, so yeah. 
But eventually, I met another friend, Lexus. But Natalie? Hmm. Actually, Natalie was still my friend, but there's Lexus. I think it was like the second day of school. During recess, I was standing around doing nothing because Jada and Lex, because I couldn't find Jada and Natalie. Apparently, they both had separate friends and were doing other stuff. I didn't understand. I thought all friends just connected to each other. So, yeah. Anyways, we got something different everywhere. Anyways, so then this girl named Alexis comes over and says, Hey, you want to be friends? And I said, Sure. And then I made the worst first impression ever. And I said, I hear you are tall. There's this girl in my class named Reagan who got to do this teacher game thing. I don't know if you guys heard about it. And you were like, Just because she's tall? I mixed up. It was like my second day, okay? Maybe even a first. And I was like, I mixed up Reagan with Lexus. Worst first impression ever. And then I remember myself just kind of fading into the darkness. But then I remembered, no, that's actually not what happened. I didn't then run away. I continued to play with them. We messed around with chalk and we were debating whether it's orange or peach because they look very similar. Well, in my mind. Anyway, so that time I met Lexus. That time I met Jada and Lexus, my two best friends, and both have been appeared in this video. But this is how I met some of my other friends. My best friend, Michaela. Well, my best friend, Michaela, so one time, since I, since eventually Lexus went off to her friends too and ignored me again, which, I mean, we have a weird thing where we only hang out with each other after school. It doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. It sounds weirder. It sounds weirder saying that out loud, but it's okay. So then this girl, Michaela, who I hang out with after school, who I hang out with in school all the time. Came, was sitting on this little ladybug weird thing. I don't even know. And she said, hey you, come up here. So I did. So every day at recess, we would sit there and talk. And then one day, we decided to all just hang out by the slot. It was my idea, which we did. Then this girl, Isabel, just kind of popped in. She was like, all right, hi, I'm here now. And I'm friends with her. And she had a best friend with Clara. Who is Davin's sister? Who Davin is in my class. Anyways, so we play together. Fun. So, um, yeah. So that's how I met some of my friends. There are a lot more friends that are just kind of a blank in the past. Some people that I would never be able to reach out to anymore. But that's not important. The friends I have now is what's important. No matter how many friends you've lost. And that's all for today's video. See you all next one. Bye guys. I'm Claire. Bye my beautiful people.